Today I'm going to be dissecting a kidney that has been uh, triple injected. This is actually a pig kidney. It's larger than a human kidney. Uh, with this, they've injected three different types of latex coloring into here. What they've done is they've actually injected yellow latex in through the ureter. They've uh, injected red latex in through the renal artery and then they have injected blue latex in through the renal vein. So what you can imagine is that we're going to get a perfusion of these colors in the areas where you would expect to see oxygenated blood, deoxygenated blood, and urine in the kidney. So when we open this up, we'll expect to see that in those areas. Um, these work out pretty well a lot of the time, but there might be some uneven distribution. So what I'm gonna try to do is just cut on the frontal plane here and try to get in between all of the uh, major minor calyces as I, or as many as I can. So uh, for this, I'm actually not going to use a small scalpel. I'm gonna use a larger knife because this is gonna allow me to make a more even cut through this kidney. So I'm going to start here. I'm gonna be um, cutting just on the frontal plane and I'll see where I get into with this. So with this first cut, I can see I'm at least seeing some of that dye in that area. Uh, let me grab a blunt. So with this blunt probe, I can kind of peek in here. I don't really know what I'm getting into yet. I'm gonna have to go a little bit deeper. Maybe down towards this end, I'll open up. Okay, it looks pretty good. Now I'm going to use the scalpel just to cut some of the structures down deeper in here or through the latex as I'm hitting it. Now I can see deep down in there that I am... Now I'm going to use the scalpel just to cut some of the structures down deeper in here or through the latex as I'm hitting it. Now I can see deep down in there that I am getting different colors. Uh, so here I can see that there is red, there's yellow. Uh, so it's in a pretty good spot. I'll at least get into some of those calyx, major and minor calyx, to show where the urine would be found. Okay, so that actually really worked out well as far as the area that we're getting into there. I'm just going to finish up the cuts, but we'll be able to see major and minor calyces on each side. Okay, so definitely one of our more uh, visually appealing dissections of the year because of this triple injection technique. So that really shows us a lot of where we see the perfusion, and I would say it probably worked out best as far as the perfusion of blood out in this area. There you can see both deoxygenated and oxygenated blood. Uh, and in an area down here like this, there should be more blue. And in an area up here like this, there should be more red. But that's the way it works with this technique. You kind of don't know until you open up the kidney what, how well it's actually going to work. So this, I would say, is a pretty good one. We got lucky with this pick here. Um, and I'm just going to open it up so we can really see both sides. OK, 
Okay, so that's a really nice looking triple injected kidney. Let me just point out some structures here. Um, so, should be pretty well in the frame right there. So as I go through here, I'm just going to talk about the different areas, main areas, and then I'll go into some of the smaller structures here. So when we're looking uh, from the outside in, or if we're going uh, superficial to deep on this kidney, um, depending on which direction we're going, in this case I'm talking about going lateral to medial on the kidney. So here, out on this outer portion, this is going to be the renal cortex. So renal cortex is out here. Then this area down below here we have what's called the renal medulla. And this is actually where we're going to find the renal pyramids. So the renal pyramids are going to be the extensions that come down into this area here. So basically at the tip of any renal pyramid we are going to find what's called a minor calyx. So the minor calyx is going to be a collecting area of area at the base of the renal pyramid. So as you can see that's where urine is going to be gathering. And I can actually pull this latex out of here. So there you can see that space. That would be filled by urine right in there. And right above there would be the renal pyramid. So again to go over these areas we have the renal cortex and then the renal medulla is where we find the renal pyramids. Down below there we get into a minor calyx. And when we actually have two minor calyx coming together then we have a major calyx. So this major calyx is going to be the main area that drains into this area called the renal pelvis. So finally the renal pelvis is down in this area. That would go out to the ureter from there. So uh, you can see how that works. Basically we have the kidney producing urine. Uh, this is going to go into minor calyx, major calyx, renal pelvis, and out to the ureter. So obviously in order to get this yellow latex in there that was injected through the ureter and it ends up in these different spots. So I'll actually pull out the latex that's in one of these major calyx. Okay, so actually this is a really large piece. The whole entire piece that's going to represent urine might actually come out for us here. So let me see if I can pull that out. So it's tough to get out. I'm going to actually cut this off here so we can look at look at where the urine is collected. Just being cautious not to cut my glove or anything. So this is really nice because what I have there is just latex that filled this area of the minor calyx going down to the major calyx and out to the renal pelvis. So there you can actually see the shape of these spaces. So when we talk about the major calyx, minor calyx, we're talking about a space where urine actually collects. So that area right there is going to be the major calyx going down to the renal pelvis. Now, a couple more structures that we'll be able to pick out in here. Um, if I was to cut into this ureter, I also expect to see some of the vessels right in here. So let's see if I can do this. And I'm just trying to get at if I can see any of the vessels that they've injected. And they may have just gone in a little bit higher. I can see some red there. So that's likely where the renal artery was coming in and some blue I can see back over here. So likely that they injected through those two areas. I'm not really seeing a vessel that has uh, much going on in it unless it filled backflowed the other way. Um, so we've covered the areas 
major areas of the kidney. Out here we have renal cortex, renal medulla, where we'll find the renal pyramids, then minor calyx, major calyx, the renal pelvis, of course, the ureter, and in the same area we would also find the renal artery and renal vein, right down in this renal pelvis area. Uh, in between there, some structures that we can't really see that well, we would see out here the cortical radiate, radiate arteries and cortical radiate veins. Uh, down in this area, we'd actually find the arcuate arteries and veins. And then in between there, you can see the interlobar arteries and veins. Um, getting back to really this major blood flow into the kidney, this is going to be what's called the segmental arteries and segmental veins. So going in the way blood would flow in, we would come in through the uh, renal artery. That's going to go into a segmental artery. Then that's going to go into an interlobar artery. Then that is going to go into an arcuate artery. And then from there into the cortical radiate arteries. Coming back the other way, we're going to start out with the cortical radiate veins. Then we're going to go into the arcuate veins. In, in there we're going to go through the interlobar veins, coming back to the segmental veins, and then finally out to the renal vein. So that is really blood flow through the kidney, talking about the other structures that we would see there. Uh, and I'm glad we had a pretty good one today to be able to see the actual areas where we expect to see the different fluids of blood, oxygenated, deoxygenated, and urine in the kidney.